Hello, I'm making this video on how to use a second screen on the Wersey Sonic OAX system organs. First of all, the resolution of the current screen we need to show you because that will change when you plug in the second monitor. Uh, what I'm going to do is just slide to the right, hit the Windows menu and then the settings and then to system and the current resolution of the screen is 1366 by 768 the next thing to show you is the HDMI connector we're using which plugs into the back of the organ here so we can plug that in make sure the organ is turned off when you do this So that is now plugged into the back of the, the organ. Having connected the monitor cable wise to the organ, I'm now going to turn the organ on and hopefully you can see what's happening on both screens. This is where it takes time to boot up as we all know. Now on some monitors, depending on the resolution, this part of the screen appears on the left hand side of the monitor. In this case um, it's working fine, possibly because I already set it up previously. Now we've got the organ fully on, um, there's different things that can happen. As I said before, you can end up with a blue screen with part of this right hand from this screen over here. Um, this is now set up as a duplicate display. What we need to do as far as using the onboard music scores um, if you was to call them up, um, uh, here we go to settings, sheet music, uh, just call uh, anything up now and load it, call the sheets up. They're on both screens, which defeats the object that someone was asking about how you can use the touch screen on here, but the music's in the way. So what we need to do is to slide that to the right, go back into the screen settings which we had and they're currently saying uh, percentage scale layout resolution which is 1366 times 768 um, landscape which is what we want and duplicate displays now we don't want duplicate displays um, I'll just cut out this video and do a uh, closer shot so if this 13668 changes uh, to a different resolution, which there's lots there, um, first of all, up top here, um, you say that says one of two. That's because we're using the same display on two. What we need to do is change this duplicate displays to extend displays and then keep changes. Now you can see that resolution has now changed because it's matching the output on the resolution to the monitor but what happens if I just minimize that um, you find that the STS buttons and some other functions have disappeared off the side of this screen here uh, let me just zoom out so that as you can see they disappeared so what we need to do is go back into our display settings. Hopefully you can see those. And we need to change that to 13768 and keep changes. And then you find, if we zoom out, they're back. So that's the important thing. The resolution will change on this screen on the organ but you need to change it back to the 13.66, was it 7.68?
but if we look at the other screen, because we've, let me just come out a fraction, because we're now not duplicating displays, we're extending it, you find you've now got a blank screen with the words the logo on the top. So if we then go into Sheets, they pop up on the lower screen. But what we're doing is probably, you're probably going to need a mouse now, um, is to click, click on the top of the window and then drag it to the right and it appears on the second monitor. Sorry that the uh, it's all wiped out. <laughs> But at least you can see. Now the only problem you've now got is if it's a piece of music which scrolls down, unless you've got a touch screen monitor, you won't be able to do that with the screen there, uh, as in my case. So there's two options. One is to use the mouse and scroll down. Uh, let me just cut out the video and do a close-up. So I'm scrolling using a mouse. Um, because it's not touch screen I can't move it up or down. So one option is to use a mouse. The other option is if you have a swell pedal with the foot switches on with the new operating system 2.85 you can actually tell the switches to just scroll up or down. So I'll just uh, cut out the video and line up with the screen. So if we go into settings and then foot switches, you've got the uh, highlighted yellow where you select the one to you want to do. Um, these are currently set up as fill and break. So what I'm going to do, click on here, and if you scroll to the very bottom, you've got sheet music page up and sheet music page down so if I select sheet music page up with the left one and then scroll that down and click on that we've now got sheet music page down so on my foot switches if I come out of that I'll just go on to the uh, other screen hopefully if I click my foot switches, you should see the music moving. So that's how you can operate without a touch screen. Hope that's been helpful. Enjoy your Wursey.